In this lesson, we're going to solve real-world application problems involving percents. A survey reported that 34% of 1,819 employees favored a new insurance program. So approximately how many employees favored the new program? Well, there were 1,819 employees total at this company, uh, but only 34% of them uh, were in favor of this new insurance plan. So what we want to know is um, exactly how many people that there were who favored that plan. So we want to know what's 34% of 1,819. So remember, we can either use the word for word translation method or we can use the A over B, P over 100 equation method. I'm going to go ahead and just do the uh, translation method real quick. So what we don't know, that's going to be our variable there, is equal sign 34%. We can go ahead and turn that into a decimal, and it'll be 0 0.34. Uh, remember, when you see of, that means multiplication, and then you have your number. <clears throat> so all we need to do is just multiply these two numbers, and we will have um, those employees that favored that new program. So on your calculator, you're going to do 0 0.34 times 1819. And what you should get there is 618.46. We are talking about people here, so we need to round it to the nearest whole number. So that means that approximately 618 employees favored the new program. At an election in a small town, 72 out of every 150 eligible voters turned out to vote. What percent of eligible voters turned out? So we were given that 72 out of 50 turned out. And let's go ahead and write that as a fraction. To write 72 out of 50, the 72 would be on top, the 150 would be on the bottom. Now to find out how many of those voters were in terms of a percentage, we need to convert this fraction into a percent. So this is applying the skills that you've learned thus far. And recall, if you have an infraction and you want to turn it to a percent, you must first proceed by top divided by the bottom to turn it into a decimal. So go ahead and get your calculators out and do 72 divided by 150. So that's going to give you a decimal of 0 0.48. And recall to turn it into a percent, Remember, you want to turn it into a decimal or a percent. It's always two places. So two to the left is a decimal recall. So what we want to do is we want to go two to the right because we want to turn this into a percent. So from the decimal point, moving two places over and placing your percent sign at the end is going to give you 48%. So 48% of the eligible voters turned out. Okay, let's check your understanding of the concept. If 25% of the pieces of a 500-piece puzzle are the edge pieces, how many are edge pieces? So again, what we want to know here is what is 25% of 500? So we can use direct translation here. What? We don't know. That's a number is you know that's going to be an equal sign 25 percent you can go ahead and turn that into a decimal 0.25 when you see of remember that's the timetable uh multiplication symbol and then you have 500 so all you got to do is on your calculator 500 times 0.25 and what you should get 
is 125. So that means that 25% of that uh, pieces in that puzzle were the edges. So that means there were 125 pieces uh, that were edges. And there you have it. Blue. What percent of the students were absent? So what we want to know here is what is 3% of 20? So simply write it as a fraction, 3 over 20. Turn it into a decimal, top divided by the bottom. Then turn it into a percent, move two places over, and that's going to give you 15%. Discount sales and taxes. Now, I'm sure you already know this, that discount is the amount by which a regular price of an item is reduced. And if you want to know the sale price of an item, all you have to do is subtract the discount from the original price. Let's do an example. Juan wants to buy a smart TV that's 30% off the original price. Now the original price of the TV is $289. So what is the sale price? Well, if we were to translate that, what we want to know is what is 30% of 289. So we can go ahead and use direct translation for that. We know what, we don't know what that is. That's our variable. So any letter of the alphabet you like uh, is, that's going to be my equal sign. 30%, we can turn that into a decimal, that's 0 0.30. Every time you see of, you know that's times. And then you have 289. So to get your calculators out and go ahead and um, calculate 289 times 0 0.30. And what that's going to give you is the discount. So what did you get? Okay, you should have $86.70. Now let's subtract that discount from the original price and then we'll have our sale price. So I'll give you a moment to go ahead and do that as well. So the sale price of the item is $202.30. Now, sales tax, on the other hand, is the complete opposite of the discount. With a discount, um, you're paying less for an item that you would normally pay because they're giving you a discount on it, reducing the price of it. Well, sales tax, on the other hand, is something you have to pay, uh, and it is an additional amount that's charged on any item that you buy. And it's based on what we call a sales tax rate. Uh, here in Florida, our sales tax rate is 6%. But yes, it varies from state to state and from city to city. Uh, tax, sales taxes are really money that's raised. Uh, and it's a major source of income for uh, many state and local governments. So let's do an example with that here. Uh, is a digital camera that costs uh, $429.95. And let's suppose you wanted to buy that camera uh, at Best Buy. And the tax rate here in Florida is 6%. So determine how much would you have to pay the cashier. In other words, the total cost, including the tax. Well, to solve this problem, what I want to know is uh, what is the taxes I'm going to wind up paying with that additional money. So what is 6% uh, of 429.95? So all you need to do then is to go ahead and multiply uh, the tax rate times the price of the merchandise. 
So the 6%, you know that you can go ahead and turn that into a decimal moving two places to the left. That's going to be 0 0.06 at times the uh, price of the merchandise. So get your calculator out and I'll give you some time. Go ahead and calculate uh, how much sales tax alone uh, that you would pay for an item costing uh, $429.95. Okay, so what you should have gotten is uh, $25.80. That's the sales tax on it. So now what you have to do you is the camera amount plus the sales tax. So the total amount you wind up paying for the camera then uh, is going to be $455.75. The list price of a TV is $249. If it is on sale for 30% off the list price, what is the sale price of the TV? So I'm going to give you some time to do this one on your own. This is a checkpoint where we want to check your understanding of the concept. So get your calculator out and see if you can uh, compute uh, what the sale price of this item would be. Alright, so what I want to know is what is 30% of 249? So um, that's if you were to translate that, all you have to do is just multiply the two uh, items there, so, uh, the two numbers. So that's point uh, Three zero when we turn 30% into a decimal of is times and then 249. So once you do 249 times 0 0.30, uh, what you're going to get as your discount is $74.70. And that's a pretty good savings there. So now what we have to do is subtract that discount from the original price and I'll give you a moment to do that. So which answer choice is it? A, B, C, or D? Well once we subtract that we should get $174.30 which is choice C. Tips and Commission Teresa is a waitress at a restaurant. She serves a table of seven people for which the restaurant automatically adds a gratuity charge of 15% of the cost of the meal. If the meal costs $127.40 for the table of seven, how much was the gratuity charge? So what we want to know here is what is 15% of $127.40. So again, all we need to do is uh, convert 15% into a decimal. That's 0.15 times the amount of the bill. And what you should get for a gratuity charge is... I'll give you some time to go ahead and do it with your calculator. $19.11. A commission is a fee paid to a salesperson based on a percent of sales. John is a salesman at Best Buy Cars. He is paid commission only. Calculate how much money he earned last month based on his monthly sales of $119,769 at 14% commission. So all we need to do is go ahead and multiply those two amounts to find uh, what is 14% of that amount that he earned. And then what we'll see there is we get an amount of once we turn the 14% into a decimal, which is 0.14 times the amount, 
we get sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty seven dollars and sixty six cent is his commission find the commission on a used car that sells for two thousand five hundred dollars if the commission is six percent so I'm going to give you some time to get your calculator out and go ahead and calculate what would the commission be on this used car okay so what we want to know is what six percent of two thousand five hundred so all you have to do is turn the six percent into a decimal which is point zero six times twenty five hundred and what you should get as a commission is you got it. Choice A that would be a $150 commission for the used car salesman.